And Tori is going to do a demonstration on our aluminous ambient light rejection. This is called the Invisible Silver. Now this technology at the moment is only available for company use. It has to be done through a PayPal invoice. Also too, it's only available in gallons. I'm not going to give out the price on what it costs, but like I said, if you want to find out, you can email us or you can basically um, call us. All right, so anyway, one of the things I would talk about the most when it comes to invisible technology, one of the things you have to be concerned about is lamp glare. Now, lamp glare is something where the projector gives off this blinding glare of light that pushes through one side and out the other end, and it gives off a kind of a sunlight kind of appearance on the opposite side of the screen or on the front of the screen. Now, this technology we developed actually kills almost close to around 99% of the lamp glare. Keep in mind, that's why I'm using a high-end projector. The last one I had was 42. I've done that demonstration already. I'll post at the bottom of the comments section. We're going to do it on 3700 lumens, XGA, and this projector right here is only 720p. That's it. Now, we're going to have lights in the environment. As you can see, there's lights in the back of the screen. We have lights in the front of the screen. It's pretty bright in the environment. Step back here, and I'll show you how far the projector sits back. Probably about a good, maybe about eight feet from the screen. All right, now also too, something I want to point out. When you're watching a demonstration, when it comes to a form of invisible technology, one of the tricks that I've seen a lot of people do, well, they will shrink the size of the screen dramatically. Now, by shrinking the screen smaller when doing the first demonstration, the problem you have with that is the fact that the lamp glare is less and less has the ability to show up because the screen is so small. So there's ways you can angle the camera to make that disappear. So in this demonstration, there's nowhere for that lamp glare to hide because the screen is huge. The screen is 98 inches at 69, and actually it was made using the uh, plastic material used to cover maybe your aunt or grandmother's furniture, that plastic furniture, the plastic sheeting that they use. This is what the screen was designed out of, showing you that you can build your screen out of anything you want. Now, I would not advise using a shower curtain very bad idea because the shower curtain material is very weak and will rip and tear if you staple that to a frame it will not give bad idea don't do it all right so let's step back here we're going to start our demonstration and keep in mind because the screen is a very high grade light silver it has the ability to pull out contrast and beautiful colors without fading in all this light the same technology that we use similar to the technology we use when it comes to our um, our ultra, our short throw, that high grade professional silver. Now one of the things I went through when I was actually developing invisible technology is one of the problems is lamp glare. Lamp glare, when that pushes to the opposite side, it basically it becomes, it distorts the picture on so many levels. Now look at the contrast, look at the black contrast levels. This is on a light, light, light silver screen. Contrast levels are going to pull up. Now we're going to go over here to the back of the screen over here. First I'm going to show you the angle gain. See the angle gain on the screen, perfectly clean. And then we'll go to the opposite side. As you can see, I can sit here, the screen's about almost to my level, and I don't have to worry about having any lamp glare. We'll get down on my knees right here, right in front of the center of the screen. It cuts down on 99%, about 90 to 99% of the lamp glare. So you see nothing pushing at you. So I never have to go in an angle when recording. On the side, show you the side angles from here to there. I'll step back. Now, the invisible silver technology, we've had this for quite some time. Uh, we had it for about, I think, two years. I thought about basically marketing it. At one point, we were going to try to market it toward customers, but we don't get a lot of requests from customers using rear projection screens, so that's why we don't usually, uh, we don't sell it. Companies, yes, yes, a lot of, uh, of contracts, a lot of interest from companies to use the technology due to the fact that we're going to be using this on huge store, um, store windows, and other, thing, other application we're using it for. Get back up here, get back over here on this side.
It's a fully lit environment, as you can see. No fading, no washing out. The picture looks clean. There's no lines or no uh, um, kind of uh, I seen streak kind of uh, kind of streaks on the screen, like someone was running water down the side of the screen. That's what it kind of looked like in some of the videos I've seen. Nice and clean. That's the way it should be. Like I said, this is without 4K, this is without 1080p, this is on a 720p projector at XGA. That's why I don't like to depend on 4K, depending on 4K, depending on 4K, you know. If you can make a 720p projector look this good, imagine what 4K would look like on this screen. And keep in mind, companies that use our technology do not have to spend a lot of money for a projector. Keep in mind, they don't have to spend $3,000, $4,000, $5,000, not even $1,300 for a projector in order to make the screen look fantastic. Now let's go through that. That saves them a ton of money. Think about it. That projector right there, with this one over here I paid for, I paid about, about $90 for one of them, $150, so that one was $90. $90 for that projector. I got it used. Now, um, new, I've seen them for about $500, about $500 new. About $500 new. Look at this. That's 720p, no 4K. Now, $500 new. They can get four of those projectors for $2,000 instead of going out and spending money for a projector to make the screen look good. That would cost them probably around $1,500 just for one. That's where they save money when it comes to our technology because you don't have to have an expensive projector. And keep in mind, my projector doesn't even have HDMI on the back of it. Look at this. There's no HDMI. This adapter allows a VGA to be converted to an HDMI because I have no HDMIs on the back of this. This is a very old projector. We're talking about somewhere around 2009. About 2009 I think it was manufactured. Now I've done this demonstration on the black video, black screen. And it just shows you the contrast level on a screen that's light. Like I said, no lamp glare, nothing. Right down here on my knees, and you'll see it's canceling out. There's no lamp glare, at 3700 lumens, nothing's pushing through. And I've done this on 42. Like I said, if you're interested, I'll post that comment in the description box, and you can see it for yourself. Now this is a spray on application only. You don't want to roll this stuff on. This has technology, has color enhancement technology. Smart technology gain times three. Gives it the ability to be used in fully lit environments. Look at this, all this light. I have light behind me hitting the screen. It's not gonna wash it out. Angle gain is flawless. Look at this. On either side, it's going to be flawless. Look how beautiful the colors are. Alright, for my time runs out here, I am Kenneth Bird from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection, technology gain times two and three. 
If you are interested in our invisible technology, uh, contact us at the email below or just call us and get our information from off our um, website. We can show you how invisible technology should work. I said color enhancement technology, 720p XGA projector. And this is fantastic for advertising. For your home or business. Well, sorry, not for your home. You'd be advertising for your home. Well, yeah, if you're doing real estate. Well, I guess that'd be business. That wouldn't be home. Sorry about that. The only way I can think this stuff would come in handy around Halloween time is if you're planning to haunt your house. That's the only way. Oh, in that last demonstration, people were asking me what kind of projector I was using when I was doing the 235.1. That projector is 720p. It's not a 1080p projector. Majority of the projectors that I use downstairs are not 720, not 1080p projectors. They're not 4K. They're actually 720p projectors. said 100% or well, actually 99% no lamp glare that's why I do it on a larger scale so you can see for anywhere I turn in this environment that screen's gonna pull up Maybe it was kind of short wasn't it go back here and check that one yeah, it was kind of short throw some fish in there. Get close on the surface. Let's get behind the back of this. Sit down and have a seat. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for your time. Kenneth Burr from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Amulite Projection. Technology game times two and three. Have to go and God bless.